Boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today we're doing a 520 Spirit. And on the way to the boat ramp, I found this 520, a 510 Spirit, which is the 520 now. And here's Ken, the owner. How long you had this boat, Ken? Uh, three and a half years now. Three and a half years. I think you bought it from us, didn't you? Certainly did. And were you happy with the, with the, oh, the service after three and a half years? Oh, yeah, it's been excellent, yeah. And what do you think about your boat? Oh, it's great. It covers everything I want. It's versatile. You go outside in it, you go up the lake, drag the family around. Yeah, it's great. It's been really good. And are you thinking of selling it? No way. Because I wanted to buy it. That's very selfish of you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there you go. If you want to move from a trail, from a runabout, a side console, you want to go offshore, because how far have you been offshore? Uh, we've been out Deep Tempest. Deep morning. Tempest. That's 50, 60, 70 k out. If you're looking to do that, do what Ken did. Call Brisbane Yamaha. Thanks, Ken. No problem. Pleasure. <laughs> have a look at the new one. So, the only three and a half years, but a lot's changed. And that's the thing about Tellwater. They're constantly re-evaluating, redesigning, their R&T team, I've told you before, it's bigger than most businesses that build boats. Have a look at this, the flat sides. Have a look at that hull, I always show it. 520 Spirit, it's a beautiful looking boat. You know, aluminium trailer, we go over that. Ken's had a, a, a launch and retrieve that he uses all the time. We've got Bimini's on this, bit of Brisbane Yamaha trim shop magic. It's a 95 litre tank. This one here, what have we put on this? A 115, and you know I love 115s. Dan will put up, put up the specs and we're gonna look inside. Because the main thing with this, if you had a runabout, a side console, a, a center console, and you wanna go out deeper and the kids are complaining they're sunburn or mum's complaining you're burning the kids to a crisp, mum wants to get in there or the kids wanna have play iPods inside and you're looking for a cabin boat, but you don't have a lot of room, this thing here is a very capable boat that ticks a lot of boxes and you should have a look at one. Transom door. We put the aluminium bait tank in here. It's got a live bait tank there. The side pockets. I pulled the floor out so you could see these poly molded buckets and storage underneath. You could put ice, you can put your fishing gear, you can store, you could have it as a kill tank. Up the front here, and there's plenty of room in this boat, isn't there? You know, with these pockets, trim and we've got a storm cover that comes off the back great for storage you'd camp in here i'd sleep here in a long trip you've got these great seats bolster seats you can stand up and so the big thing about a cabin boat is when it gets really rough offshore you stand up your legs are like a shock absorber right and that's the difference when you've got to run about side console you're sitting down now this boat will take six people it's max horsepower is a 115, so it's on max. It's got a good Lawrence sounder, bunk in fill. So you can put it there. You know, you put an esky at the back, you could have a kip in there, you can sit in there, you get out of the weather, have a cup of tea, a couple of ham and pickle sandwiches. You can get through, it's easy to step up to get to the anchor. We have put anchor winches on these before. Good steering, it's got that movable steering that I keep talking about. Look at that, Yamaha gauges. Nice little console here, little glove box here. I'd put my phone in there or keep a quick sandwich to eat on the way out between fishing spots, VHF radio. It's ergonomic, you can stand up, you can look out. This trim work doesn't just happen. Brisbane Yamaha make it. That's why it's so beautiful. And we've got three trimmers, so if you need anything trimmed on a boat, you better call the team. Let's go and see how this beauty goes offshore. So you want to fish offshore, you've moved up, run about, side console, you want a cabin boat. But you don't want to get one of these huge boats, just something nice, you can do everything, sneak up a river, do all the impoundments. But go across off deep, shore, deep offshore occasionally, or all the time, because these spirits are very capable offshore boat. Let's have a look. So this one's got a 115. I reckon a 9 you do, you can hear that 115, it's already started, you can't, well, it makes no noise. 
I'll straighten up. Are you out front, Dan, so you can have a look? So from a dead stop, let's just see how it gets on the plane. I'm trimmed down. Flat out. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Probably three, maybe two. And we're up and we're going and we're solid and we're square. There's a couple of shags over here. You can see that hull moving. I'll trim it up a little bit because there's not a lot out here for this boat. You know, anything 15 knots, a metre and a half, I'd be out in it. Maybe even 25 knots because it's cable. You can see that hull just spitting out the spray. You know, I've got a little bit of trim, not much. I'll do some turns, see if that train can... Oh, look at it sit flat. Into that, there's only half a metre. Maybe some of the waves you get up a little bit more, but not really today. You know, turning, doing a bit of that circle work. Dan loves to film. And it hangs in beautiful, doesn't it? You know? Look at it. Even that shag over there likes it. Very predictable. Just like the or you'd expect from a Quintrex. Doesn't matter what the waves are doing because the boat just compensates for your own stupidity. And out we go. You know, in Queensland, there's so much opportunity for offshore fishing, but also for impoundments. So it's hard to have a boat that does everything. And I'd probably say to you, these spirits do everything. And there's a big range of them. I like the 5.4 as well. You know, that's an awesome boat. 5.9's a good thing too, but you know, as soon as I get a bit bigger, I go into the tridents and then the yellow fins. But I tell you, if you want an offshore boat and that can do everything, single, tra single axle trailer, so easy to manoeuvre, you live in suburbia, you better have a look at one of these spirits. Built fantastic. And the ride, there's just nothing like them. You know, I've sold a lot of boats in my life and Quintrex is another level of ride finish technology and you put it with a Yamaha. Now, you saw this thing, I'll be honest with you, I'd put a 90 on one, I'd be quite happy to sell you with a 90, it'd be perfect. The 115, well it's max 115 and people like to put it on. It doesn't need it though. It'll do 65, 70 kilometres an hour with the 115. Probably only a few kilometres less with a, with a 90. Fuel economy? Well, we're doing 5.8. We're doing 65 kilometres an hour and we're using 41, li <coughs> 41 litres. And the seagulls can't even stay with us. And I could trim out and go and they haven't got a chance. Go backwards. Haven't even opened the shut the transom door because I've just got belief in these things. You know, chasing a fish backwards. Very, very. Just, I'll be honest with you. You'll be hard pressed to find a better all-round boat, which is seriously offshore capable and you know it's a bigger boat it's five and a half meters i'd call this a trophy boat self-draining decks with the transom door the big duck boards it's a bloody nice looking boat too isn't it you know in the cabin so you can stand up get out there where they're big waves if you're looking to go offshore if you're looking to move up in a boat do yourself a favor Brisbane Yamaha, 3888-1727. Or online, we've got every package online. We've got the biggest online presence in Australia. BrisbaneYamaha.com.au and I've got over 200 boats ready to go right now. With motors, ready to go. See you on the water. Hopefully, in one of these awesome spirits. See if you can catch me, Dan.